Long dead legendary men wouldn't comprehend the military industrial complex. Or vegetarians. They'd be perplexed by savings and loan scandals and think government takeovers were older news than openly gay soldiers. They could only see us now. Picture them rolling in their graves, sticking their heads out of the ground like ghostly gophers. They won't believe we gave voting rights to women and immigrants and criminalized the behavior of stoners and slave owners. So don't blame homophobia on urban radio for why your child's idea of breakfast is toast and grape soda. Or why Reading Rainbow went from a great show to the strangest band name since Natalie Portman's shaved head or Abe Vigoda. Maybe if Sofia Coppola had played Winona Ryder's role in Bram Stoker's Dracula, I wouldn't be labeled a loner. I might be able to maintain a boner at the thought of spraying loads inside labia folders and buying baby strollers. Thank you, Founding Fathers, kids. Thanks, dads. Drowning in water that's ankle-deep ain't as bad as floundering in a life raft on dry land. I'm Malcolm Little right after Lionel Hampton's flying home inspired an African tribal dance that still can't stop me from having a one-night stand with an Irish vampire obsessed with Stephanie Meyer and that head while I'm driving line from Sex on Fire. Graceless and vulgar are best accepted and admired if you threaten women's lives or sit next to John Cryer. Being less of a man means knowing how to express desire and never buying expensive attire advertised in Esquire. Embarrassment is not Cuba Gooding and Jerry Maguire. It's a pathological liar slash compulsive hair dyer who won't let anything from the prior era expire, from tax breaks for the wealthy to American Idol. Call it political suicide or compromise. Just don't call it the fruition of eyes on the prize. Everybody who signed the Constitution would despise our honor students just as much as don't call me stupids. Screw the preamble. We the people ought to teach August Wilson's I ain't got to like you monologue to children. That might be more appropriate than squandering quadrillions. You can't move towards utopia by nonchalantly killing. That's like thinking slum dogs is brilliant as the disappearing pencil trick from Gotham City's sickest vaudevillian. Whatever punishment you inflict upon a villain will someday claim innocent lives in office buildings. Guilt is more powerful than wind, solar, and winter in Chernobyl. Sins of the sperm donor. Even my initials condone sadomasochism. It's official. The whole damn system has daddy issues.